Welcome to Vlogmas. You already know what time it is. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get this thing started. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Vlogmas. <laughs> I just woke up. Everybody else is still asleep. It's just me and Sansa roaming the house. And uh, we're trying to get some laundry done right quick, okay? I'm actually in the middle of filming a hair tutorial. That's why my hair is underneath this wrap. I used some Miel products on my hair and uh, really excited to see how it turns out. So I'm gonna be taking my hair down today and I hope it turns out cute. I was filming a reel for Black Friday. So this weekend has started, right? Today is Saturday and it's gonna be kind of busy. Um, I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me today, but I'm supposed to be meeting up with Mumu later this evening. We're supposed to go get dinner at one of our favorite restaurants. And then we're gonna also chat about some plans that we have this month. Uh, I do wanna do like a holiday party type of thing. So I'm just gonna be meeting with her today to see if this is something that can be done, it's no guarantees. I would like to do it, but we need to talk through logistics, details, dates, stuff like that. <laughs> also, my aunt is celebrating her birthday tonight, so she's having a little basement party at her house. So I definitely want to show my face at that. Oh, and also I need to film my Vlogmas intro, which you guys will already see if you're watching this video. But basically in real time, we're filming that thing today. And then tomorrow I have yet another piece of content to film with Anne. I'm going to be doing like an update on her vlogs and things. So if you guys plan on staying tuned and watching all of my Vlogmas episodes, you will not miss that video. But I'm probably not going to put it in this one because it might be too long. So let me get Sansa fed, get this laundry started, and get some coffee up in my bloodstream, okay? Look, Sansa's like, where's my food? Look, look. <laughs> she came and checked that bowl. She's like, ain't no food in there. I'll be back when you get your life together, ma'am. <laughs> Actually, I started on laundry last night. It is a disaster. There is so much laundry. Oh my God, I really let things get behind and I hate when that happens but no worries because I am jumping back in and catching up it just never ends it's like this is like an infinity dryer that's just closed really excited about Thanksgiving this year I'm gonna be going to Virginia to my sister's house. Super excited about it, you guys, like, pumped, okay? We have so many things planned. We're not just making it a quick trip. We're actually gonna stay a few days and experience some things in DC and everything. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. So that's why it's so important I get this laundry done so I can have clothes. <laughs> We're packing. I find myself less stressed when I'm packing when I have just like endless options, right? There's nothing restricting me. I, all my clothes are clean. I can just select all the things I want. So much less stress involved. Same thing with Ann's stuff. All right, everything's in the dryer. Sansa, you ready for your breakfast, girl? Whoa. Dang, what's going on my dryer? It's too loud. Look at Sansa, she is so ready. You ready, girl? Okay, let me get my coffee. I already put my creamer in there. Mm-hmm. Perfect temperature. Hippie Sansa's patiently waiting for me. <laughs> hey, come on, girl. Here we go. See, I told you. the weather right now you ask well the hawk is out <laughs> and we do have a light sheet of snow but it ain't really sticking sticking but we do have a about a quarter of an inch <laughs> it had some very warm unseasonably warm days leading up to this point so Chicagoans can't complain if you're a Chicagoan complaining send them to me all right 
this has been a very warm fall. Like we actually got a real fall this year. My sister said it's global warming. I think it's actually a little more than that, but yeah, the earth is definitely changing, but I don't know if the effects are that immediate and that drastic, but it's definitely something. Uh, I need to clean up this kitchen, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'm actually about to start dinner and it's not even 9 a.m. yet, but I need to do this so that it's out of the way, right? And it's really not even dinner, it's more like lunch. Cause I know Anthony has to have something to take to work. And um, it's just always good to have something already cooked and ready in case you get hungry, you know? It stops you from ordering and eating fast food if you ask me. So I'm gonna get that going and then when Ann wakes up and Anthony wakes up, we'll do breakfast. So y'all, in real time, I haven't even decorated yet for the holiday. I did, however, pull out my holiday mugs. But look, I only have four. That is not enough to get me through the season. So I have every intention to go to like at home because I like their uh, holiday decorating offerings. It's like pretty affordable and they have like a nice variety. But I'm starting to get a little worried because I think I've kind of waited to the last minute, so I don't know. But we're gonna go and check it out and just see what's left. And then there's always Amazon, you know? And then I need to go through like the stuff that I already had from last year. Y'all, it's so funny because like when I start my decorating projects for the new year, I always go back and watch like my decorating video from the year before just to remember what all I have. Because once you pack that stuff in those bins and put it in storage, it's like out of sight, out of mind. You might forget what you have. And instead of like rummaging through the bins, I'd rather just watch the video to see what all I got. Cause what I'm gonna do is like move some stuff around. I'm not gonna take the same decorating approach as the previous years. Because what I've realized is that I'm kind of starting to figure out my holiday decorating style a little bit more. So things are gonna be a little different. However, I'm still very excited to wake up every day and see, you know, festive vibes. I'm ready for that. So you ready to go outside? Look how cute she is. She just sits by the door. You ready now? It took a minute, but now you're ready. Got food all over your face. Come on. Come on, girl. I know it's cold. Don't you want to pee? Daddy comes down here, he's gonna, he's not gonna be as gentle about this thing, okay? Go ahead and go out. Come on. Come. Come. Oh, what? She only does this to me. Okay, empties. All right, now it's time to get all of that into that. <laughs> uh, you gonna help? So what can you expect from Vlogmas this year? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what Vlogmas is, but you happen to be watching this video and you're like, what is she talking about? Y'all, where have you been? So Vlogmas is kind of this unofficial thing that YouTube vloggers do during the month of December, uh, where we post a vlog every single day, right? It's like a marathon of like, if you like that vlogger, you get to see them every single day leading up to Christmas. Some people vlog through the rest of December. I'm usually that person. And it's just fun. You get to spend the holiday with your favorite vloggers. And I always say this every year, if your favorite vlogger is doing Vlogmas, this is the time to watch them because you're really gonna get to know them and you're gonna love them even more. I do this because it creates deeper bonds with you guys. Like I feel like right after Vlogmas every year I get like a lot of new subscribers. Like I, I get people who like really get me and I feel like it's my way of like really connecting with you guys. So I love doing it. It's also a great way to really grow on this platform. Uh, you can make more money. The algorithm loves you. Like everybody wins. So I love doing it and I encourage you guys to tune in every day if you can. Here's what you can expect from my vlogmas though. Like I usually am pretty good about posting every day like I say, but life happens, you know, and it's really, really rough to stick to it for the entire month. So when we do have days where where we don't have a video, I just want y'all to know that I will be communicating that. Like you won't have to look for me, I'll let you guys know. So check my community tab every day because that's gonna give you guys an update on what time the video is coming out and or if the video is not gonna be coming out. So I'm pretty good at like communicating changes in the schedule, but at the very least, I'm gonna try to stick to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time every day, okay? 
<laughs> oh, and the vlogs will also have some length to them, right? So I'm not just gonna be posting um, like 10 minute vlogs and stuff like that. In fact, I don't think I've ever really done that. Uh, we'll try to keep the vlogs pretty, pretty healthy, right? 25 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that because that's what you guys like. So yeah, and I know you guys really appreciate vlogmas. I know you do. And the way you can show that is by tuning in every day and commenting and let me know what you think. But yeah, we typically keep a reel around here, you know, I bring you guys along to like family functions and events. You know, if I'm throwing a party or something, I usually let you guys in on the planning and stuff. Just regular old black people celebrating the holiday. You know what I'm saying? Morning, baby. Oh, look at you all suited up. You about to take her for a walk? No, nah, I'm about to take myself for a pepper. I'm late. Oh. <laughs> you overslept. I forgot too. I forget every time that you have a haircut appointment. Because I was definitely letting you sleep. I could have woke you up. I gotta learn how to start doing this at night so my mornings can be a little smoother. Okay, y'all, here's my lunch slash dinner. This is pork tenderloin. It was like $6 for all of this meat, so I am here for it. <laughs> I don't know how to cook this, y'all, um, so I'm just pulling out some stuff that I already had in the fridge, bell pepper, uh, shallot, Girl, I don't know what's going on with the lemon, but I'm just gonna see what type of seasonings I should put on this. I already have some mashed potatoes that I made the other night, so that's what we're gonna have with this. Let me see if I can find a good pork dish. If I need help coming up with something, I'm usually able to just skim through here and see what I like, but it's a little more difficult to search something specific, especially with this particular cookbook. These are more so designed to like inspire you to cook something. People aren't usually coming to the table with <laughs> dinner already figured out and then looking for a way to cook it. So I don't know, this might take a while, but I get so many ideas from these cookbooks, y'all. Like um, this, how do I make one? Usually has like a lot of like common recipes, things that you may have had your whole life and you just never knew how to cook it. So like meatloaf and like a good mac and cheese, a good pot roast, you know what I mean? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this is a pork chop recipe, but it's Parmesan breaded. Might work for me too. I might be able to um, do this on the tenderloin too. They have it served with mashed potatoes as well, which is giving me all the feels. Cause that's kind of what I had in mind. Let me put a put a pin in that one. Y'all, I've never cooked pork tenderloin ever in my life. I told y'all I am new to pork, really, after being vegan or what have you for five years. And then before that, I just never really got into it. But um, I like it, I really do. And I looked it up and it has like literally the same profile as beef. So it's kind of like the same thing. Unless you have other convictions that, which prevent you from eating pork. I don't judge you guys or anything like that. Everybody has their thing. I'm just saying for everyone else from a scientific perspective, it's the same as beef. Y'all, I think I want to try to pull it with the Parmesan crusted situation. Okay, I got everything, just barely everything, y'all. I have five eggs. This many breadcrumbs left, girl. Let's see. Here goes into the egg, into the breadcrumbs. I feel like the bread coating is like super important. Okay, so that's coated pretty good. What y'all think? Let's get it in the grease. All right. Ah, it's in there. Oh. Girl, 
girl, how long was it supposed to cook for? Um, 12 to 15 minutes, okay. Girl, next time I do this, I'll wear gloves, because this is uh, not feeling right on my hands. And there we go, okay, let me wash my hands. I feel like I need two tongs to flip this. Yikes. Got that one flipped. I don't know, it looked good a little bit. Reason number 172 why I do not like battering and frying things. Y'all look at this mess. Okay, okay. And it's almost impossible not to make a mess. You know, look at this trail of breadcrumbs like I'm Hansel and Gretel. Okay, here's how the tenderloins look right out of the grease. Okay, and it smells really nice. So into the oven it goes, finish. So it's gonna finish in there. It's supposed to come out like this. And I already have the mashed potatoes. Like I said, y'all, I made those from scratch. So I'm hoping for this, let's see. Okay, y'all, here's how it turned out. I had to cook the pork a little longer than the recipe because I'm like, oh, that ain't done. But um, this turned out pretty good and the pork tastes really nice. Okay, fresh out the shower, Anthony just got back. I was about to apply my um, skin treatment here. I wanted to share it with you guys real quick. This is a vitamin C treatment complex by a company called Colleen Rothschild. <laughs> really, really good vitamin C treatment. And you guys, we're so behind. I have so many new skincare items I've been using on my face and my body and things that I have been loving in the bathroom, y'all, like my skincare. Um, options have really really grown i've tried a lot of new stuff and i haven't done any favorites videos so we're a little bit behind on what some of those products are but i will catch you guys up very very soon because some of this stuff y'all need to know about but like this is so good on my skin like this feels so nice y'all my skin been feeling so good okay and then i'm just gonna go over it with a moisturizer which in this case is probably going to be my fenty skin have you guys tried fenty's skin products they're really good. This one in particular, this is a um, SPF uh, moisturizer product. And it's one of my favorites. You guys know I'm always trying to see who's gonna make the better SPF moisturizer because a lot of times with those SPF products, they make you make they make your face have like that veil on it so you kind of look like you have on a sunblock and it's very unflattering the more brown you are. And um, I have a couple favorites. I have like my top three. This is definitely in the top three. It's so good. Like it leaves no white residue whatsoever. It almost makes me question if the SPF is even in there, but it is. It just really fades in, gets sucked into the skin and you don't see it. Now the downside to this one, if I'm being honest, which I always am, is that it does leave your face looking a little bit oily, right? So like for me, I have combo skin, but mostly dry. So that doesn't bother me as much, but if you do have an oil problem, you might have to take some steps after applying that. But for the sun protection that you get, coupled with the moisturizing capabilities of the product, coupled with the fact that you don't get that white veil, it's kind of a, it's kind of a fair trade off. I've also been using this Josie Moran Argon Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum. Of course, I'm not using it in conjunction with the Vitamin C Complex product I just showed you guys, but some days when I want to, you know, I want to feel more of a serum-y kind of vibe, I'll use this one. This is really good too because although it's a serum and it looks kind of oily, it does not leave my skin oily. It's very moisturizing and that might have something to do with the argon oil in there so this is also another good one and i really like the josie moran products anyway y'all just in general i'm on their pr list and they send me stuff all the time and i happen to really like it okay i'm all done with my hair i love it so much y'all look at those ends see look at those ends that's the secret to a braid out let the ends do what they gonna do and curl them well let them curl naturally, which is what mine did. And very little separating, I think, is how you get a good braid out. Don't separate the hair too much to where you get all these frizzies, because I already have some frizzies here, but that's just my texture, you know? It's nothing I can do about it. But for the most part, the ends are intact. So, um, I like my hair like this. I'm gonna go ahead and film the rest of this reel, film um, the Vlogmas intro, and then carry on with my day, okay? <laughs> oh, if you guys wanna know what, Lip color I'm wearing, this is um, a Fenty Beauty product. It's in the color Uncensored, I believe. Yeah, Uncensored. Y'all, this is my favorite. It goes on milky and then it kind of dries matte and kind of solid. 
but you can also put gloss on top to wake it back up if you need a glossy look but y'all this is my favorite red lip at the moment the movement i love being natural and somebody just got dressed come here sweet girl they want to see your sweater Y'all, this is the cutest sweater. Thanks, Cousin TG. She got this for her birthday, among a bunch of other cool stuff. Stylish Cousin TG. I think this came from Nordstrom Rack, y'all. So, so cute. It's like a, such a soft material. Ann loves it. So uh, I wanted you guys to see her hair. and let them see your hair. Let them see your hair. Turn around. Turn around. Ready? Do a spin. Turn around. Turn around. Her hair is growing so much, y'all. I need to show y'all some footage of like her hair when we first tried to lock it. It's growing a lot, but I get frustrated because I'm not able to like put my foot in it, you know, and maintain it the way I know I can because um, she won't let me and stuff. Y'all excuse the sheets, we had to wash her sheets today. Um, but it is still really cute and we did a cute little side ponytail today for dinner because we're waiting on Moo Moo because we're gonna go grab food, I mentioned that earlier. So Anne's coming with and uh, she's got the cute little side pony. All we did was pretty much just wet it with some rose water, you guys, and then I put some of the twisting gel along the edges just to try and like um, lay down the frizzies and stuff so that it can look like a polished style so it's looking really good her hair is locking very nicely it's been a year y'all and uh, everything so I'm gonna do a lock update for y'all actually I'm probably gonna film that tomorrow but yeah it's coming real soon because I got some new products from a company called Reagan Sinai which focuses on um, kitty hair care and she was kind enough to I met the owner and stuff so I just want to share the whole experience with y'all with me maintaining Ann's hair we got to wash it I got a new hair washing device all types of stuff so I'll share all of that um, in a vlog very very soon and <laughs> watching Daniel Tiger all right sweet girl you are ready you are too cute you want to say hi yay I love you girl and this is how mommy's looking my hair is holding up though it gets more swollen as the day goes by which is what I like about braid outs so um yeah and um we did all the footage and stuff that i needed for all the stuff i was trying to film today so we got all that done which was oh, fun no. and anthony went ahead to work oh, it stopped yeah. snowing sun is out it's beautiful oh, no. oh yeah <laughs> and uh yeah i'm gonna change into something more comfortable i just put on this hoodie right quick so i could take off that damn christmas sweater i had on um but yeah, let me know what y'all think of the intro. Vlogmas intros be fun family events, really they do. <laughs> Somebody come get her. All this bouncing and jumping is making me exhausted just witnessing it. And please stop jumping. Please stop. Anywho, y'all, this is my look for the night, okay? I don't know why I'm wearing this coat. Well, actually I do know why. It's the only coat big enough to fit this sweater underneath. The sweater is so big, y'all. So, like, I can't wear, like, certain tailored coats because the sweater is going to be too bulky. So, I have to wear this coat, which is still kind of cute. Burberry scarf. I just like it as a fashion accessory. Um, so, this sweater. Okay. Cream. Some regular jeans. And my boots. Woohoo! <laughs> my boots are Jeffrey Campbell, girl. I had to remember where the heck... I knew where I got them. I got them from Von Mar, but I'm like, what brand is this again? But yeah, Jeffrey Campbell, they're like that ultra suede or whatever. Super comfortable to walk in, y'all, but it still has the heel. So you feel like feminine and stuff when you're wearing it, but you don't have to be uncomfortable. So I love that. Girl, that's the look. And I'm carrying my Gucci tote. This is like the perfect fall bag. I don't know what I'm going to do um, in the summer with this bag. It's like perfect for like winter. It's like that winter white. It's so cute to me. Um, come on, Ann. You ready? You got your iPad? You ready? All right, it's time to eat Ethiopian food, y'all. Oh my God. Be craving it. I haven't had it in a very long time. Why is it every Vlogmas we get an Ethiopian food? Is this some kind of tradition now? We just get Ethiopian food every Vlogmas? Um, Sans is laying down. Everything is, everything is set. You ready? Come on, Tiku Wiku. Let's go get in the car. Girl, I'm 
tired already. Mm -hmm. When we get back here, the babysitter will be here, and that's who Anna's gonna be with for the rest of the evening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna head over to my auntie's house. What's wrong with the lighting? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, then we're gonna head over to my auntie's house because she's having a little birthday shindig. So let's go. Okay, we're here. Alex just went to the bathroom. We're here. Look at you. Look at I'm starving. Y'all look what we got. We got honey wine and everything. And we're at Ethiopian Diamond, which is down the street from La Sasha and where we used to go. But I think they're closed down. They didn't survive the pandemic and stuff. This is what I usually got. <laughs> And I always ask for two eggs. Oh, no. And Lex and Jira. Let me show y'all this place. Oh, yeah, I do know that it's guy. huge in here. <laughs> You're so. I did a Walmart walk and yeah. uh, There's Auntie Moo. It's Vlogmas. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> oh. You know what? Oh, oh, hey, you look so cute. Dang. It's like a 10 minute That's all it takes sometimes, for real. I don't even know what like an hour beat feels like anymore. I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? Now it's like, I don't even do eyeshadow. I gave like my palette, I gave palettes to Aaron. I'm like, here you go, girl. Perfect. It looks amazing. Look, Ann, it looks so good. It looks great, Ann. Uh, 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 uh. Not you dancing, Ann. She's like, give me my injera. <laughs> give me my injera and let's get to it. Sweet girl. You gotta fill it out first. Hi, I'm going in. You're going in? How you liking the honey wine? It's real good. Nice. Real good. Okay. So what do we have here? So that's your doodle watch. Yes. And then this is my like fish equivalent, I think. Uh, Kika Lika. I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of lentils. <laughs> lentils. We got collard green spinach. Spinach. Salad potatoes. The mouth is watering. It's lit. E. Anne is having a great time with her and Jira. I know she went straight for it. Like, thank you. Anne, are you are you having a great time, mommy? It's so spongy and amazing. All right, let's, let's have some chicken. Mouth watering. Yum. Cheese. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling Good morning. Mm -hmm. Somebody's having a breakfast. And I'm low key having a kind of breakfast myself. Coffee. Y'all, we had such a good time last night. Mumu spent the night. She's upstairs asleep. And Wardo in the back doing something to the grass. And I'm, I asked Anthony, I'm like, what is that Wardo doing? Because it's snow on the ground. <laughs> what is he doing? Anthony was like, getting a check. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he getting rid of the leaves? Well, yeah. sit, well, make sure he doesn't uh, sit them all down into the basement walkout, because that's a problem too. Because then we got to get down, go down and, and retrieve them. Maybe Duke can go down and get those leaves up for us. Since he's over here, pretty much doing nothing, blowing snow around. Um. Anyway, we love Eduardo. Whoa! His, his, se his season is over, right? No. And then we won't see him until the spring. 
anyway, okay. Uh, I had a good time with Mumu last night. Um, we ended up going to the um, bar to meet up with my sorority sisters. I didn't get to um, really uh, share that with y'all in advance, but we did. We did go there. It was kind of nice to see everybody. It's people I hadn't seen in years. Okay, since college days. <laughs> So it was nice to see folks, everybody looking good and healthy. And Tish was saying that they moved to Seattle. Um, I, I didn't realize she was in Seattle. We were out there when she lived out there. She's been out there for over 10 years. Anywho, um, and then we ended up going to my aunt's house um, just for a second, just to tell her happy birthday and stuff and see the kids. And then we ended up um, hitting up Jerry. He was out in the area at the hookah lounge. So we stopped by there to just bump elbows with him for a second. We didn't stay out long though. And then we came back here. Anne was asleep, of course. Our babysitter, she is just the best. Um, we do have a new one joining the family, right? She was really, really great. She says she's going to Jamaica for some months. We're gonna miss her. Our babysitter is um, Jamaican. And she was telling me last night that she's gonna be going back to Jamaica for a period. I'm like, no. I'm gonna miss her, but she'll be back. I gotta close this vlog out, y'all. This is too long. This is too long. But yo, Vlogmas is in full effect, okay? So listen, tune in every day at 4 p.m. Central Time to see a new upload for me, okay? I'm bringing you guys along with me for the entire duration of my holiday season. So let's get it. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, come back.